so um, I will go over the little rune extractor thingy that you see here in the background uh, it's a great cool tool that helps you quickly get your runes into the rune optimizer tool and makes your life very very easy so um, you can just go through and read uh, through this Reddit article or just follow the quick instructions. So first of all, uh, there's some tools necessary. That is the T packet capture tool and uh, the SW parser tool itself. So you can just go through the Google Play Store, um, type in T packet capture, select the first one, and then just install it so after you installed it open it and this is the main window um, from here on out you should check if your summoners war is started I usually make sure that it's not started because sometimes it gives weird network issues if it is uh, so I just have it closed before I start capturing so you start capturing you see this little um, key symbol that identifies that you have uh, started a virtual network and from here on I start summoners war let it run through the whole sequence of loading stuff wait until the touch to start uh, appears takes a little while okay touch to start I'm on my island now uh, and it doesn't really matter what you do here so you can just close summoners war again so that it doesn't pick up unnecessary traffic um, from your taskbar come on uh, you just click on the little icon say disconnect and you have created a new pcap file so uh, I noticed for some uh, Android models that uh, they can't click on the little icon uh, mostly the LG3 um, LG G3s uh, so there you would have to uh, cancel the program by by manually going into the app manager uh, that you have that is where where were the applications um, application manager running applications and if you see T packet capture here you would just um, close it directly out force closed so um, in uh, T packet capture, what I usually do is I just uh, click on the file and send it to me via Google Drive. It's the quickest way for me, but you can send it via mail or use a tool to uh, access your your data storage and just uh, copy paste it onto your PC. So after you've done uh, this, you should download the SW parser this raw file um, you then extract it to wherever you want I have it on my desktop uh, that's fine and you want to take your newest pcap file that is mine uh, I usually drag it into the same folder and then drag and drop it onto the SW parser file so as you can see uh, that's the new date because I already had an optimizer JSON um, it will create these five files these five files the only important one for you is this file and 
you can just go ahead and open it with notepad here a lot of mumbo jumbo control a control c to copy the whole thing and here in the graph factory um, rune optimizer thing uh, yeah I just see this all um, in the graph factory rune optimizer you can just import all your data click on import and it says that you have all these monsters runes whatever and there you go you have your monsters the ones with the star at the end are uh, the ones in storage and if it says like Rakshasa awakened it's uh, or water it's not awakened yet um, and here uh, in the advanced tab you can see um, all your different rune stats on one go like what they're doing um, makes it for simple searches but mainly important for you will be the optimizer here so let's pick a monster random monster uh, Katarina for example uh, Katarina I want her on right blade um, tag crit damage and attack so uh, you want to limit your um, your builds in general with a focus thing uh, as here like it will create a lot of lot of lot of lot of um, builds so you shouldn't go over 100k so in the focus what I usually do is I say I want the maximum amount of crit damage followed by the maximum amount of attack I don't care too much for the rest uh, it created all the builds for me I only care about plus 15 stats and I only want builds with 70 or more crit rate so and then you can basically go through and filter limit so for me probably yeah this looks pretty much close to the best build I can have and then um, I can limit it to more stuff so let's say okay don't show me anything besides 180 crit damage okay and select by the highest attack so uh, this build that I had selected before uh, would probably be with the stronger build but for example I would even go take this build just because I want the more speed uh, on my on my nuka in general and um, like the difference between that and that is maybe 300 400 damage on her third attack and I don't care if a pop hits for 20k or for 24k uh, for 20k or for 21k like not too much because uh, if I can't land it in the first place because I for example don't have a Chloe and no protection uh, then it doesn't matter so yeah this was the quick overview of the rune exporter in conjunction with the rune optimizer I hope this helps you all out and that's it for me have a nice day bye